Hello good people of the internet, this is Abby coming at you with the best new releases I read in 2016. I'm super sorry that my voice sounds a little weird, I have like a weird head cold going on and I sat down to edit this video that I previously filmed and realized that my camera was so zoomed in that you could literally only see like this portion of my face. So in order to get a video out to you guys because I've taken a brief holiday hiatus, I decided to put on some makeup and just bear through whatever's happening here and refilm. So without further ado, let's just get into it. The first new release I want to talk about is Just Juliet by Gabby Rivera. This is a book that follows 17 year old Juliet who comes out as a lesbian to her Hispanic family um, and then begins the journey of moving across country for the summer in order to take part in a very feminist um, internship. This deals a lot with the crossover of personal identity and family and d different kinds of identities uh, and really has a lot of beautiful self-discovery and understanding in it. And this is a book that I feel like a lot of teenagers should be able to have and read, especially ones that are struggling with those aspects of their identity. Next is The Long Game by Jennifer Lynn Barnes, and this is the second book of the duology The Fixer. This book follows teenager Tess Kendrick as she moves to Washington DC to live with her older sister, who is Washington DC's most notorious fixer, think like Olivia Pope on Scandal, um, and she moves across country very resistantly and becomes the fixer of her own private elite high school. I won't get too into detail about the plot just because if you haven't read the first book there are definitely spoilers in the second book, but basically this is a wonderful uh, sequel to a wonderful first book. And if you like any sort of suspenseful YA or like more government thrillery books, you'll definitely like this one. In third place, I have Girl in Pieces by Kathleen Glasgow. I adored this book. This book follows 17 year old Charlie and begins as she is in a psychiatric facility for depression and self injury, as well as dealing with a lot of trauma. She doesn't speak, she has just a lot of things processing. Um, but towards the beginning of the book, she finds out that she is being released from the hospital and has to kind of reinvent herself in a new area where she doesn't really know anyone, uh, and no one really knows her, she has to, you know, find a job, figure out how to live her life with her mental struggles, and it is such a raw and honest and beautiful portrayal of mental illness, and I cannot wait to read more of Kathleen Glasgow as she comes out with more books in the future. Next I have This Savage Song by Victoria Schwab. I love everything that this woman writes, um, and you probably do too. This book follows Kate and August, both of whom are heirs to very different sides of a divided throne of a divided city. Kate is the daughter of the kind of evil ruler of the humans in this city, and August is actually a monster who hides himself as a human and just wants to fit in and protect the innocent, despite the very negative beliefs that are thrust upon his kind. When these two intersect at a local high school, uh, things kind of go haywire, and we learn a lot about their self-discovery in the face of what their parents expected for them, as well as the fight that both of them have that they didn't realize that they did. And last but not least, we have A Million Worlds with You by Claudia Gray. This is the third book in the Firebird trilogy, probably one of my favorite series of all time. I am so bad at finishing series, but this one I finished immediately so good. Um, I won't get too into detail into this just because I don't want to spoil the plots of the first and second books if you haven't already read them, but basically this series follows Marguerite Kane, who is the daughter of two scientists who have figured out how to travel through dimensions using a device called the Firebird. Um, she and her love interests Paul and Theo find themselves traveling dimensions in order to save different people, save different dimensions, and the third book is just as thrilling and suspenseful as the first two. I think it might be my favorite book of the series. It put a great end to everything, it had me on the edge of my seat the entire time, and I am so happy with the ending of this series. So if you haven't already read this book or series, you definitely need to. Alright guys, that is it for now. Down in the comments below let me know what the best new release you read in 2016 was. I would love to know, and I will see you next time. Bye guys!